Hey guys, and welcome back. On this video, we're doing short rib poutine. So let's get going. All right, to get started, first things first, this is not authentic. I'm not gonna claim that it's authentic. I'm not gonna claim it's classic. Uh, I did some research on it. It actually is pretty varying across, you know, recipes that I looked at, you know, it's not anything complicated with the, with the gravy. We're doing some home cut fries. You can definitely use frozen fries if you want to in the oven. We're adding some uh, short ribs to this, which we're going to cook on the slow and sear, get a good smoke on that. Everything's going to be simple. So what we got here is just some, some really basic short ribs. And again, when I say short, I mean, there's bones in them, but there's, I don't this is how they came, but we'll use them. We don't need a whole lot. And all I'm gonna do is add some killer hogs, all purpose rub to that. That's it. Get these on the slow ones here. All right, we got our short ribs on cooking. The next step is to make some French fries. And again, you can get store bought fries. Doesn't matter. This is a you know, an extra step that does take a little bit of time, but I, to me, it's well worth to have fresh cut fries. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my mandolin and make some uh, hand cut French fries. We're gonna go ahead and soak those in water for a few hours. We're gonna change the water out like two or three times until the water just becomes clear. We'll dry those out. We got our oil up to about 325, 350. We're gonna put these in in small batches and only cook them for about I don't know, seven to 10 minutes, pull them out, set them aside, do the next batch. And when that last batch is done, we'll take the first batch, put it back into oil and do a double fry, get them nice and crispy at that point. We'll go ahead and set those on a tray, throw them in the oven to keep them warm. Let's go ahead and make our gravy. So after doing some research with gravy, again, very simple. We're gonna make a basic roux. We got about six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of flour. We're gonna cook this down for a few minutes. Get that flour taste out. All right, to this, we're gonna add two cans of just canned beef broth. These are the 14 ounces. We're gonna add one can of chicken stock. We're gonna go ahead and bring this up to a simmer. All right, so we got our stock up to, uh, up to a boiling state. And I'm gonna add a little bit of slurry, and this is just cornstarch and water, just to thicken it up a little bit more. And I'll add a little bit more if it's not to the consistency I want, but. Bring this up to another boil so we get the full effect of that cornstarch. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper, but I'm not gonna hit it with any salt because this stock has a lot of sodium in it. So we just do a lot of pepper. And we'll go ahead and simmer this down. And that's about a good consistency for me. Or at least I think, I've never had poutine, so. I'm just basing this off of regular gravy. All right, I think we're ready to put this dish together. Just a little recap. We, uh, we got some short ribs, not a whole lot of meat on those, but I saw them on the grocery store and I thought they would be great. I was gonna use a truck roast 
and do the same thing, just get it shredded up. But that's what we had. Turned out we have enough meat. We did our fries, double fried, got these in the bowl. And we made our simple gravy with just some cans of beef stock and chicken stock with a little roux and a little cornstarch slurry to thicken all it up. All right, for our cheese curds, we're using cheese curds from Alesmith Brewery right here in San Diego. It's actually the only food they, uh, they sell there. We saw them, we had to make some poutine. So this is what we're using for our cheese curds. You can check out L. Smith. I'll have a link down below if they sell it online. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. We got our fries here. I'm gonna take a good ladle of our gravy. And I'm gonna get those tossed. Nice and steaming. Oh man, it already smells good. Get some of our cheese curds. Toss those in there. And I'm not even sure how much cheese curds to put in there, but that looks good. Give that a toss again. Get our pretty plate. Stack that up. Take some of our short rib, pile that right on top. We're gonna put another layer of that hot gravy right over top of everything. And that's it smoked short rib poutine. I don't know if that's classic or authentic, but sure does look good to me. All right, so the one thing I do notice is the cheese, cur the cheese curds are not melting, you know, as much as I thought they were. And that gravy is pretty hot, but I mean, we're gonna work with this. So let's get some fries, a little bit of short rib, a curd. Let's give this a taste. Oh, that was f Oh, sorry. <laughs> that is really good with the short ribs on there. Um, I didn't add any salt to this at all anywhere. The fries weren't salted. The gravy has enough salt to it. The, the short ribs have some salt to it from the, the Killer Hogs rub that we put on there. Smoky, the cheese curds, they just melt in your mouth. I mean, it's... It's not melted here like I would expect to see it stringy and all that, but it's, it, it's that, this is pretty damn tasty. <laughs> I think if I got that, that gravy like scolding hot, this would, uh, this would definitely melt the cheese, but this is really good. I'm surprised. I don't know where this has been all my life. I've never tried this, but you guys have got to give it a try. Remember guys, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next run. Thanks for watching.